Morning guys. Uh, my uh, downstairs is a little junky right now. That's that's normally where I work out over there, but this is basically all the junk in my house that was kind of stored away for our wedding. Like my mom just threw things behind closed doors and in closets and whatnot, and I haven't really been able to find anything. So one of my goals for the past couple weeks is just to take out all the clutter and all the junk and kind of get my Marie Kondo on, like figure out what I need to keep versus what I need to get rid of. So the largest open space in my house is in the basement. So I was like, let me pull all my stuff in the basement. <laughs> but now I don't have a place to work out. So I'm actually going to take my weights and go upstairs and work out on my back patio this morning. Become one with the sunlight, if you will. Of course, I can't think about going nowhere outside without Milton. Come on, Milton. You want to go outside, Bubby? Good boy, good girl. Come on, Maddie. Maddie, come to Mama. Maddie, come here, you're so close. Maddie, Maddie, Maddie. Milton, what are y'all doing? Come on now, come on. Good boy, good girl. Good boy, good boy, DJ. Good boy. DJ, so close, come on. DJ, where are you at, DJ? DJ, look at me. Look at your mother. <laughs> Good boy. Morning, guys. I am finally upstairs and outside. I have all my weights here. But before I exercise, you know what I need to do? And that is zip fish shake. And this morning, we are having... Oh, fruit punch. Now, I always say pink lemonade is a classic, but fruit punch is the A1 from day one classic. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, let's get ready to shake it like you got some extra room with you today, okay? Make it a big shake, okay? <laughs> let's get ready in three, two, one. To the sunshine, to nature, to getting stronger, and to reaching your goals. Mm. Oh, yes. Mm. Already, yes. done that was amazing the sun done went behind the clouds this is like the first time ever I'm glad that it's cloudy ah but that was great I'm gonna have to do that more often okay guys that was a great outside workout and now I'm just gonna relax a little bit before the live I have to help my sister move some tables or something right after the live you know use that muscle so like there's no point in taking a shower because I'm just gonna get sweaty and stuff all over again so I was like snack time you know what I'm saying Starting off with my classics, I have my cello wisps here, Parmesan and cheddar. This week for almonds, I went with the Blue Diamond Smokehouse almonds from Costco. I normally get the regular dry roasted ones, but I really like the ones that are salted. So these were the only ones I saw that had salt on them. They're a little smokier than I would like. I mean, I know you're like, duh, Autumn, it says Smokehouse. I don't know if I knew what that meant, but like, they taste like smoke. They kind of taste like meat. And you know, once again, I don't want my almonds to taste like nothing but salt and almonds, you know? So these definitely have a flavor. If you've never tried them before, just know that. Once again, it's not bad, but just imagine if you're eating smoky meat. You got smoky meat nuts. Okay guys, we are on the way to the shop. Today turned into a very busy day, unbeknownst to us, but like, <sighs> there's my husband. We're going to do some manual labor. Bottom line is, it's 
always something, but that's why I got me a husband here to come use his power tools in order to fix this door. I finally found you my music comes to peace. I'm complete. Oh, now he's really gonna work. Uh oh. oh the jacket's coming off, Jesus. Oh, and the glasses too. Oh wee. You are so handsome. Oh, don't you? <laughs> See, guys, look, we've had to take all of our furniture in the lobby and we've had to like consolidate it because you're not allowed to wait inside the lobby anymore. You have to wait in your car until one of the service providers tell you it's okay to come in. Hashtag that Rona. Okay, guys, it is coffee time. You might have noticed I switched up my thermos uh, only because it is larger than my previous thermos. Kind of had a light bulb moment. The larger your thermos, the more coffee you can fit in there. So I've been making like maybe like a half a cup to a cup more of coffee than normal and I see no problems whatsoever. This is just the usual, about a cup and a half, two cups of coffee, one cup of chocolate almond milk. I have some butter, heavy whipping cream. I have that chocolate preferred keto collagen. I have some sweetener and that's all it takes. Oh, it is foamy and frothy and delicious. Mmm! Mmm! Oh! So I'm gonna sit down and enjoy this. I'm waiting on my sister. I have to help her with some sort of manual labor project a little later in the day. So I'm gonna relax until then. I may or may not practicar mi espanol antes, which means before, uh, but who knows? Okay guys, we are in the van on our way to pick up some tables or something. But yeah, I don't see what we're doing. No, okay, we're done. Yep, we're done. And then hopefully I'll be able to eat sometime soon. So my husband done made himself all the way comfortable. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you laying down in the back of the cargo van? <laughs> I'm relaxing right there. Do you know how we are? You are on the video. Oh my gosh. Go ahead and do some crunches while you're down there. <laughs> Okay guys, my brother just left. I was helping him with some more of his business, but it is way later than I normally eat. I mean, between helping my sister, helping my brother, like, I am sister of the year. I just want you guys to know that. But like, I am so excited to finally be able to dig into this Keto Connect butter chicken. Like, it just looks so good and just so deeply colored and just flavorful. I'm just so excited. And then you see here, I just got this microwave broccoli that I put a tablespoon of butter on top of. Let me just go ahead and hop in that broccoli right quick because we all know how broccoli tastes. Mmm. Mmm. So much salt, so much pepper, so much butter. Yeah, that is, oh, it's so good. It's so filling, like, mmm, just such payoff. Just put the broccoli in the microwave. Now time for the main event. That delicious butter chicken. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, you guys know I like things spicy, but like this is spicy in, in like a different way. Don't get me wrong. It's got some heat to it because I added all that red pepper flake at the end. But the spices themselves, the turmeric, the cinnamon, like everything else that I used to flavor and color this, like it is just so deeply flavored. When I tell you, I don't even need to add anything to that. No hot sauce, no salt, no pepper, no anything. Like, oh, that is just perfect. Somebody asked a question about mixing in the cauliflower rice directly to the mixture about if that makes the whole thing soggy. And for me, the answer is no, because before I put the cauliflower rice in the butter chicken, I made sure to squeeze out all the water. So the good news is since the butter chicken's already on the stove, you can heat your cauliflower rice up in the microwave and then just let it sit till it becomes room temperature. Just squeeze out all the excess water in the sink and then you can add your cauliflower rice to the butter chicken and it does not sog it down. It just, it's just firm and it's just so colorful. I just can't get over the colors. Y'all know orange is my first favorite color. So here, finally, now here's some orange. Mmm. I'm just thinking about this delicious broccoli train coming to our mouth. You know what I'm talking about? Train is pulling into the station. Choo choo. Mmm. 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 After this, I finally get to try those chocolate peanut butter fat bombs. Score? Okay, guys, that meal was 
amazing and filling and hearty and flavorful and that's all there is to say about that. Uh, we ended up watching Songland once again. Songland is amazing. Comment down below. Do you watch it? Have you watched it? Like it is just basically a songwriting competition show. I mean, that's all I have to say. Like, it, it is amazing, and those people are so talented, and it was really good. So, I'm happy to have watched that, but I'm even happier to now be on the road to trying these fat bombs. Okay, guys, so, I don't know if you were supposed to let these, like, warm up out of the freezer before you cut them, but I cut them while they were frozen, and they definitely cracked into different shards. Like, you can... You can see that there are like three pieces here, so I'm only having one piece, but it's definitely shards right now. It's set up in the freezer overnight, but it's been in the refrigerator for like the past day. So let me see the consistency from the refrigerator. You can see the layers. Now that's pretty cool. So I'll put a layer of buttercream on the bottom and then the peanut butter in the middle and then the chocolate buttercream on top. Let's test it. Oh. That's chocolatey and melty and delicious. Mmm. Look at this layer right here. That peanut butter layer is smooth. This is great. I'm trying to honestly determine whether or not it was worth the effort of like making all the layers and whipping up the buttercream and whatnot. But it tastes delicious. That peanut butter layer might have just made up my mind for me. God, that, that's good. <laughs> okay, I'm eating it. I got my two cheese sticks too. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Like, I may or may not have some Jello. I may have some Sprite. I may just drink some more water. Like, it's already much later than it normally is when I finish my eating window. I've had a great day. Got a lot accomplished, albeit for everyone else, but still <laughs> did a lot. And I was really, really pleased with the new recipes that I tried out this week. Is there any new recipe that you've tried over the last month or two that has kind of turned into a favorite? I mean, that butter chicken is so easy and so flavorful. The fat bomb's a little more involved, but the flavor payoff is worth it. Like, that is delicious. So, comment down below. I'd love to try some new recipes. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make meal preps on Mondays, what I eat Wednesdays, and Freestyle Friday videos. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and I'll see you next week.